Hello. I am Diggerbot Unit 1. In 2016 Offworld conceived me with a vision to disrupt mankind's development in space. With a revolutionary approach for extreme environments, Offworld reimagined mining on Earth. Our next step is to take what we have learned from our terrestrial training ground and begin operations on the lunar surface. Our mission commences at the landing site, where a crane unloads our cargo rack. We anticipate that the lunar environment will cause wear on our components, so we plan to leverage a modular design that allows parts to be replaced. Offworld's payload includes four digger bots, three servicing bots, six haulers, three tankers, charging stations, spares and a plow blade. After unloading is complete, the service bot attaches the plow blade and leads a caravan of bots to the water extraction plant. The caravan includes six haulers, four diggers, three tankers and two servicing bots. The other bots and parts remain in their cargo tiers until they are required. One hauler is holding our charging station. The other haulers are carrying critical components, such as spare excavator drums, wheels and robotic arms. When we arrive at the water extraction plant, a NASA LSMS crane is used to place our charging station on the surface. The LSMS crane will also be used to unload spare components and assist with repairs. The charging station is connected to the power source. Each service bot is equipped with robotic arms designed for specific tasks. With the bots plugged in, the setup process is complete, and we are now ready to start developing our mine. The service bot with the plow blade leads two haulers and the digger with our soft rock excavator to the mine site. The service bot clears the mining area, which is a rectangle 61 meters long by 2.4 meters wide. Excavation begins and our digger bot creates a ramp down to a depth of 20 centimeters. At this depth the digger continues excavating along a horizontal plane, removing the upper 20 centimeters of overburden. At the end of the trench, the digger creates an exit ramp. The digger drives up the ramp, turns around, and widens the trench from 1.2 meters to 2.4 meters. The haulers travel alongside the digger. As the haulers are filled, they deposit their loads at the tailing site, which is outside of the excavation area. Once the overburden is removed, we extend the ramps on either side of our trench to excavate the next 20 centimeters of regolith. We are now excavating material with 4% ice, so our haulers deposit the regolith at our water extraction plant. The haulers utilize a dump lift mechanism to empty their trays. Once we reach a depth of 1 meter, we begin using the hard rock excavation drum. The teeth on the drum excavate small fragments of rock, which pass underneath the drum into the conveyor. At this point we have transitioned to long-term operations. As material is deposited at the water extraction plant, water is produced and transferred directly to one of our tanker bots. Tankers can carry 240 kilograms of water. Once a tanker is filled, it drives off to the delivery site and another tanker takes its place. To optimize production, we have developed a mine plan that allows for the continuous flow of material to the water extraction plant and minimizes the amount of overburden removed. As soon as a hauler is filled, it drives up to the water extraction plant and is immediately replaced by another hauler. Once a hauler has deposited its load, it plugs into the charging station to prepare for its next shift. Diggers follow the same sequence of operations. A charged digger enters the mine in preparation for its next shift. The digger that needs to be charged creates a small ramp and exits the mine. The charged digger immediately takes its place. This concludes the presentation of Offworld's lunar mining animation for the NASA Break the Ice Challenge. We hope you have enjoyed this production and we look forward to taking the next steps in this great endeavor.